Hello! In this example, we want to evaluate the difference quotient. And if you've never seen the difference quotient before, it's basically this over here. It's the f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. Now, usually what gives people the majority of the problem is just grabbing a function and being able to plug it into the difference quotient. So in order to do that, notice that the difference quotient is made up of three parts. First, you have this f of x plus h, then you have an f of x, and then an h on the bottom. So you know what f of x is, and the h is just going to stay the same. It's this guy. That's the one that causes issues. So to see how that's going to work, imagine going through this. What if I gave you a number like f of 2? Well, you might say, hey, all I need to do is put a 2 in for my x's. And that would be correct. We'd substitute it in. Well, what if I gave you something different? What if I gave you f of triangle? You'd say, hold on, it works the same way. I'm just going to put in a triangle wherever I see an x. Well, you got the right idea. So if I see something like f of x plus h, I'm just going to replace my x's with an x plus h. So this is exactly the piece we need for this part of the difference quotient. All right, I think we're ready to start plug things in. So first I'm going to plug in the f of x plus h. So x plus h squared minus 1 looks good. And then I have my f of x, x squared minus 1. And according to the difference quotient, I want to subtract. So subtract f of x. Now make sure that you want to subtract the entire function and use a set of parentheses to remind yourself that that is what you are doing. All divided by h looks pretty good. Now, once you get into the difference quotient, it must be simplified. Fortunately, most difference quotients actually simplify fairly nicely. Let's go through and do that. So here I can FOIL it, get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. I have a minus 1. And then I can distribute the negative sign on the inside. All right, looks good. Now we examine it, see if there's anything we can cancel out. Well, I do see some x squared, so let's get rid of those. I see a minus 1 and a plus 1. Those are gone. So now we just have, looks like 2xh plus h squared all over h. All right, this thing's looking great. Now we've got lots of h's. In fact, both terms in the top have an h. So we can factor that out as well. Now the reason for factoring is you can then cancel out these h's. All right. So you can see in the very end, when we simplify the difference quotient, we just have 2x plus h. And there you have it. So you can see the hardest part is really just putting everything into the difference quotient and really just trying to simplify it. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.